Walmart. How this farm boy built the world's biggest company. How did a young boy from a struggling farm family build the largest company in the world? This isn't just another rags to riches story. This is the mind-blowing journey of Sam Walton, a man who took on the retail giants and came out on top. Starting with just a small store in a tiny town, Sam's vision, relentless work ethic, and ability to outsmart his competition turned Walmart into a retail empire. Today, Walmart is the world's largest company with over 10,000 locations and millions of employees. It's hard to believe that it all started with one man's simple idea, make things cheaper and better for the average shopper. Walmart's rise wasn't easy and it didn't happen overnight. Sam faced countless obstacles along the way, from losing his first successful store to overcoming fierce competition. Yet through it all, he held on to his belief that anyone, anywhere, should be able to buy quality products at low prices. What drove Sam Walton to push boundaries and take risks no one else dared to? And how did he pull it off when so many doubted him? Get ready to uncover the remarkable story behind Walmart's global success. Early life and background, Sam Walton was born on March 29, 1918, in Kingfisher, Oklahoma. Life wasn't easy for him. His family lived on a farm during the Great Depression, a time when jobs were scarce and families struggled just to put food on the table. From an early age, Sam learned the importance of hard work. His father was a farmer and later worked as a farm mortgage banker. Sam would help his father with odd jobs like milking cows, delivering newspapers, and selling magazines door to door. This tough upbringing taught Sam the value of a dollar and the importance of saving. His father often told him, don't spend money unless you have to. This philosophy would stick with Sam throughout his life. But Sam wasn't just a hard worker, he was also ambitious. Even though his family moved around a lot due to financial difficulties, he excelled in school and sports. He was class president and a star athlete, showing leadership qualities that would shape his future success. The start of his retail career. After graduating from the University of Missouri in 1940, Sam joined J.C. Penney as a management trainee. It was here that Sam developed his passion for retail. He learned the importance of customer service, a lesson that would play a massive role in his future ventures. However, his time at J.C. Penney was short-lived because he was drafted into the U.S. Army during World War II. After the war, Sam returned to civilian life and sought new business opportunities. In 1945, at the age of 26, Sam took a huge gamble. He borrowed $20,000 from his father-in-law and combined it with his $5,000 savings to purchase a small Ben Franklin variety store in Newport, Arkansas. The store was part of a franchise owned by the Butler brothers. Sam had big ideas for the store. He focused on offering lower prices than competitors and improving customer service. His innovative approach paid off. Within five years, his store became the top performing Ben Franklin outlet in the region. But success brought challenges. When his lease expired, the landlord refused to renew it and took over Sam's thriving store. This was a major setback, but Sam didn't let it crush his spirit. The birth of Walmart. In 1950, Sam Walton and his wife, Helen, moved to Bentonville, Arkansas. He opened a new Ben Franklin store called Walton's Five and Dime. Once again, Sam applied his winning formula of offering low prices, wide selections, and exceptional customer service. By 1962, after years of success with his stores, Sam had an idea that would revolutionize retail forever. Walmart. On July 2nd, 1962, Sam opened the first Walmart store in Rogers, Arkansas. His vision was simple, offer people lower prices on everyday goods and give them a pleasant shopping experience. Sam believed that by cutting costs and passing the savings on to customers, he could beat his competitors. He also placed his stores in small towns where other major retailers wouldn't dare to go. His gamble paid off. People flocked to Walmart for the low prices, and by 1970, Walmart had grown to 38 stores with sales of over $44 million. The expansion and success of Walmart. In 1970, Sam took Walmart public, which allowed him to raise the money he needed to expand rapidly. He used this money to open new stores across the United States. Sam was also a pioneer in using new technologies to improve efficiency. He introduced barcodes, computer systems, and distribution centers, which helped Walmart keep costs low 
and stock its stores efficiently. By 1980, Walmart had expanded to 276 stores and annual sales had reached over $1 billion. Sam didn't stop there. In 1988, Walmart opened its first supercenter, a large store that combined groceries and general merchandise under one roof. This concept was a huge success, and by the 1990s, Walmart had become the world's largest retailer. Sam's vision of offering everyday low prices had become a reality, philanthropy and legacy. Sam Walton was more than just a successful businessman. He was deeply committed to giving back to the community. Throughout his life, Sam and his family donated millions of dollars to support education, healthcare, and local community projects. In 1987, he and his wife, Helen, established the Walton Family Foundation, which continues to fund charitable initiatives, particularly in education and environmental conservation. This foundation reflects the family's belief in creating opportunities for others and helping communities thrive. Sam's commitment to making a positive impact extended far beyond the retail world, shaping his legacy as both a business leader and a philanthropist. In 1992, his legacy lives on through Walmart's global success. Today, Walmart operates in 24 countries with more than 2 million employees worldwide, making it the largest private employer on the planet. Despite facing challenges over the years, Walmart remains dedicated to the core value that Sam instilled offering quality goods at affordable prices for everyday people. His vision of creating a store that served the needs of average families has not only changed the retail industry, but also left a lasting impact on countless lives. The world's biggest company today, Walmart is the largest company in the world by revenue, with annual sales exceeding $600 billion. It operates more than 10,000 stores across the globe, serving millions of customers every day. The farm boy from Oklahoma had not only built a retail empire, but had also transformed the way people shop. Sam Walton's story is a testament to the power of hard work, innovation, and perseverance. From a small farm in Oklahoma to the largest company in the world, his journey shows that with the right mindset, anything is possible. What started as a single store in a small town has become a global giant. Sam's legacy continues to inspire entrepreneurs and business leaders around the world. So next time you walk into a Walmart, remember the farm boy who built it all. What do you think was the most important factor in Sam Walton's success? Let us know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this story, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more inspiring stories.